Right. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to calculate uh, extra sums of squares regression using an example. And this is my example data set, which came from this source. And I'll include that source in the description of this video. All right. Um, and previously, I have talked about how um, we need to, when we have data like smoker, yes, no, I need to basically create an indicator variable that is one for yes and zero for no, or vice versa, but you just need to be clear about which is which. Uh, same thing for female, male, and the region, okay? So in this data, I've, I've done that, okay? Um, and basically what I wanna do right now is, I'm actually going to just be using these um, first uh, four variables here. So charges is the amount that you were charged on your insurance. X1 is your age. X2 is your BMI. And X3 is just the number of children that you have. Okay? And I just want to find each of these um, extra sums of squares. All right? And I just want to point out notation-wise, uh, this is the same thing. I see different textbooks will call sum of squares regression, SSR. And then they'll use, instead of beta, they'll use x, okay? Um, they're exactly the same thing though, uh, it's just a different notation. I prefer the beta notation because that's really what we're doing is we're adding in model parameters, okay? Um, also, this notation's not clear because it doesn't say whether or not we have an intercept, so. Right, and I talked about this in the previous video, uh, this difference in notation, okay? Um, but I just want to be super clear and write it all out here. So this is the same thing as SS regression, X set of beta two, X two, beta three given, or X three given X one, okay? So notation wise, these are all exactly the same. All right, so let's start with this one, um, find SS regression of uh, beta one, given beta naught, right? And this is basically just what is SS regression for X1, all right? So for, for number one, basically all I need to do is figure out what is SS regression, what is the sum of squares regression for a model that only contains X1, okay? So let's do that. Um, let me go up top here to data and then data analysis. And then I'm going to scroll down until I get to regression, press OK. And Y is going to be this column here. So if you click on the first one, then you press Shift, Control, your down arrow, which should highlight all the Y values. And then let me scroll back up. For X, all I'm going to have is X1. OK, so I highlighted all my X values for just X1. And I'm going to put it on a new workbook. I'm going to call this. Uh, just the model beta one given uh, given beta zero. Okay, so it's just basically a model that has only beta one in it. Okay, and I forgot to press labels. Okay, don't forget if you highlight the labels there, you have to press that button for labels. Let's make sure I did everything else. I don't need any of this other information. So just press OK. Okay, in the output, it gives us our sum of squares regression right here, right? This number right here, this is the answer to number one, okay? This is the sum of squares regression for beta one, right? And it's doing better than the model with just beta naught, right? So sum of squares regression x1. Okay. All right, if I go back here, so that's basically this answer. It's just that number right there. They give it to us, the sum of squares regression. Let me go ahead and highlight it. Let me go home and highlight that number, that big number there. Okay. Number two, find sum of squares regression. Uh, basically, now we're going to add on, so this is an extra sum of squares regression, right? Because we're adding on beta two. So to figure this out, I'm going to need to construct a model with both beta one and beta two. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me press data, 
data analysis, regression. Okay, so same y values. And you delete, delete what is there in the x values, and then I'm going to highlight both x1 and x2. Scroll down, okay, and the name of this uh, spreadsheet is going to be b1, b2, because it's going to have both of those guys. Uh, press enter, and let's look at what we got here. Okay, this number, the sum of squares regression. Okay, this sum of squares regression is the sum of squares regression for the model with beta 2 and beta 1 given beta naught, right? Using that other notation, this is x2, x1. Okay, so the extra sum of squares is basically, remember, regression always increases. Sum of squares regression always should increase. So this model should have a higher sum of squares regression than this model. Okay, so the difference between, so number two asks for, what is the extra sum of squares regression for beta two, given beta one and beta naught were already in the model? Okay, how much extra sum of squares did you gain? Okay, this is going to equal the sum of squares regression for the model containing both betas, the big model, this one that we just ran, minus the sum of squares regression for the small model. Okay, so we can calculate this. This is going to equal, equal this number, right? So I see C12 there, minus, and I can move over to the other sheet, this number, okay? Then, so I just clicked on that cell. Then I'm going to press enter, and it's going to calculate it for me. Let me go ahead and make this bigger here. Okay, so hopefully you can see it there. This is it's a really big number. There we go. Okay, that is the answer to number two, this number here. Okay, let me go back. Number three, so we did that one. Number three, what about when I add in another beta three, right? What is my extra sum of squares for adding in beta three? Okay, this is gonna be very similar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create, so let me go to data, data, data analysis, regression, okay, leave Y and then delete what you have here for X, and then highlight one, two, and three, okay? So you're building a model. So now you started with one, now you have two, and now three, okay? And I wanna call this new sheet B2. Okay, and then press okay, So or sorry, B3. So B1, B2, and B3 are in this model. Okay, press okay. 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 So this guy, the sum of squares regression. Okay. This sum of squares regression is the sum of squares regression for the model with B1, B2, and B3. Right? And the intercept is in the model. Okay. So the extra sum of squares regression, which is what I want to know. Right? So let me zoom in. The several times, okay? So the extra sum of squares regression, which is how much did did this sum of squares regression improve? How much, how, it got bigger, right? How much did it get bigger than the model that had both beta two and beta one? Okay? And this would be your sum of squares regression for this big model with all three parameters here, minus the sum of squares regression for the slightly smaller model. So it had beta two and beta one. Okay, because beta two and beta one, so that's beta two and beta one have to match. Okay, okay, so this is going to equal, I can type it in, equals this sum of squares regression, right? The big sum of squares regression minus 
do a minus sign. The sum of squares regression for the model with beta 2, beta 1, and beta naught. That's this one here, right? Which is the sum of squares regression, beta 2, beta 1, beta naught. Okay, press enter, and you can see when I move on to a new sheet, you can see the formula up here. If you ever get lost by where you're at, you can just go up to that formula bar and then press enter there, and it will calculate it for me. So that's my answer to number three. Okay, this is my extra sum of squares regression for beta three. Okay, one more question up top. Let me go back to my questions. Okay, the sum of squares regression for beta two and beta three. So now we're adding in more than just one um, parameter at a time. Basically, we wanna know how much better does this model with beta two and beta three, right? Given that beta one is all still in the model, right? So I actually, I have all the information I need for this. So let me go ahead and write down what is the formula for this. This is going to equal the sum of squares regression right, for the big model, the model that has everything, beta 3, beta 2, beta 1, and beta naught, okay, so you always start with the big model, minus the sum of squares for the smaller model. Now, the sum of squares for the smaller model is just going to be what's over here on the given, on the other side of the given, right? So beta 1, right, so you add it on both beta 2 and beta 3, to this model that only had beta one to start with, right? So this is going to equal, I can type in an equal sign. Okay, let me go and grab the big sum of squares from this model with all three parameters, right? Beta three, beta two, beta one, right here, right? You see it? Click on that, click on that sum of squares. Go up to your formula bar, then press minus, all right, and let's go to that sum of squares for beta one. It only has beta one, right? This is our simple model, simple linear regression model, and click on that cell, okay? Then press enter, and there we have it. That's our answer, okay? All right, so why, why do we calculate all of these, these extra sum of squares regression? Well, it has something to do with hypothesis testing, all right? And in the next video, I'm going to show how to use uh, some sum of square, extra sum of squares regression to uh, calculate um, or to conduct a hypothesis test.